In the following sequences, we will show you how to use the Parry Turbo Boy S and to carry out the cleaning procedure. Please ensure you read the instructions for use. Your doctor has instructed you to use the Parry Turbo Boy S. In this video, we would like to show you how to use the Parry Turbo Boy S correctly and provide you with valuable tips on handling and cleaning your inhalation device. But how does inhalation actually work with a Parijet nebulizer? The liquid added to the nebulizer is drawn in by the compressor airflow and atomized at the nozzle to form fine droplets. This produces an aerosol. The aerosol is then inhaled via the mouthpiece or mask. The inspiratory valve opens on inhalation and production of the aerosol is supported by the supply of air from above. This means more aerosol is extracted from the nebulizer, so shortening the nebulization time. Taking deep, slow breaths ensures optimum transport of the aerosol to the lung. The inspiratory valve then closes again on exhalation. The expiratory valve opens simultaneously, so this is the only way for the aerosol to escape. This valve system used in the nebulizers of the Parry LC Sprint family ensures economical usage of the medication. The droplets produced vary in size depending on the design of the nozzle attachment. The size of the particles determines which part of the lung is reached by the aerosol. This ensures that it targets the exact place where its effect is required. This is why Parry has developed three nozzle attachments, each being designed with the patient's age or the application in mind. The blue nozzle attachment is especially suitable for targeting the middle of the lung in patients from around the age of four years and upwards. The yellow attachment produces fine droplets for the narrow airways of babies and infants and forms part of the LC Sprint Junior Nebulizer. The red attachment results in a very fine aerosol. This is ideal for treating the outer lung regions as required for COPD for instance or for the tiny structures of the lungs of newborn babies. Please wash your hands first because even healthy people have microorganisms such as bacteria on their skin. Before starting a nebulizing session, the compressor should be placed on a firm dust-free surface, ideally a table. To assemble the nebulizer, first push the nozzle attachment onto the nozzle in the nebulizer lower section. Screw the nebulizer upper section onto the nebulizer lower section. Open the cap on the nebulizer upper section. Fill the nebulizer chamber with inhalation solution from above. Do not fill past the maximum fill level. This is equivalent to about 8 milliliters. Close the cap on the nebulizer upper section and then attach the mouthpiece or child or adult mask. Use the connection tubing to connect the nebulizer to the compressor. During inhalation treatment you should sit upright and relaxed on a chair. Hold the mouthpiece between your teeth and enclose it with your lips. Now switch the appliance on. Breathe in and then out through the mouthpiece as slowly and deeply as possible. Keep inhaling until the noise made by the nebulizer changes, indicating that the inhalation session is complete. Then check whether a clearly visible aerosol is still flowing from the nebulizer. Stop treatment as soon as the aerosol emerges intermittently. Disconnect the nebulizer from the connection tubing. Any moisture that appears in the connection tubing can be dried by using the compressor to blow air through the tubing for a few minutes. For cleaning and disinfecting, disassemble the nebulizer completely into individual parts. 
We recommend that you wash the nebulizer parts thoroughly for about 5 minutes with warm tap water and a little dishwashing liquid. Then rinse all parts thoroughly in warm running water. Alternatively, you can also clean the nebulizer in your dishwasher. Disinfect the components either in a disinfector or by placing them in boiling water for at least 15 minutes. Between uses, wrap the nebulizer in a clean, lint-free cloth and keep it in a dry, dust-free place. An adult mask is also available as an option. Press the mask gently but firmly over the mouth and nose and breathe in and then out again through the mask as described for the mouthpiece. 